Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Now that everything in this world has been opened up to us, and we've had a little bit of a look at some of the first moons this level, we need to um, probably look around a bit more and get some more moons, because there are still plenty more to get. And I feel I can spend some time here before moving on, so let's go ahead and do that. So, now to figure out where I need to go for all these moons, uh, which my autopilot will probably do just fine. Just, you know. But anyway, we have this slots minigame again. Except it's got five things this time. And our cat, our cap can't reach that far. But it's fine because as long as we throw when the heart is there, then we can get the last one anyway. So we can do it in two, two throws and still be fine. Just like that. Luncheon Kingdom Slots. I didn't even know what the word luncheon was until this game. Which isn't really that surprising. But still, it seems like a word that would be more well known, but yeah, I don't know. Let's grab these over here. Uh, there's also a lot of these stems on these vegetables that you can get hearts from, but... Uh, there isn't any whatchamacallsums moons on any of them, so I don't think I need to worry about that. What I do need to worry about is actually getting up here if I can, which is easier said than done. Uh, I feel like I can go from down there and have a better time. Let me see. Okay. Ground pound. Oh, so close. I just, I, I just need to, um, um, what's it, what, what am I saying? Need to try and dive at a, at the last second, basically, because you can get a lot further when you dive at the last second. And even throwing cap at the last second, you can, you can jump from a lot further away than you realize. Uh, let's go back here because back here there's some boxes that we can break for a power moon just there of course it goes up though I have to go up and get it but that's okay grab that is this an ingredient too not quite but anyway uh, down here is some purple coins also the mountain like when I was looking at from on top of this ledge before um, this mountain, the entire mountain was further back for some reason, which is so weird. Like, in, before you actually finish up the main missions, and like, um, this section of the level was blocked off after the first multi-moon in this level. It's kind of blocked off, but you can still get here, because there's usually a wall blocking it off, but, yeah. It's just so weird to see the level change before you've actually got all of the multi-moons. Anyway, here's a hint art for this kingdom, which is the Seaside Kingdom. So we'll have to go back for that at some point. Which shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Um, let's see. I believe there's a thing up here. Some purple coins, and also a secret door back here. I'm probably going to get a little bit lost at some point in this level. Also, I started... A profile on a different file before starting this run and I still haven't finished that so I'm gonna get these two runs these two profiles confused probably at some point I don't think I'll have that much trouble with it but my brain just once I've got something I check it off in my brain and so I don't think about having to go do it so it makes things very difficult but anyway got this Potaboo level, where we've got very small platforms to move around on, but that's fine. We can work around it. Crossing the magma. Just land in that, please. Thank you. Have to go through the pink soup. The melted ice cream. Oh my goodness. I can make this jump. Oh, that was close though. Okay, just a little bit further. If I can time this right, I 
feel like I should jump when it's moving. Which doesn't seem like the correct move. Ah, uh, but it works, so. Anyway, that should be everything in this level, the secret area. Also, this background. I don't even think I've looked at this background before. In this particular secret level. I think there's the other secret level that we've already done that has a similar background, but I like the, um... Like the stars, it's a very Super Mario Sunshine secret level esque. And it's wonderful. But anyway, moving on. I think I need. Yes, I need. Uh. A hammer bro slash. Frying pan bro? <laughs> I, I don't know what to call them. It's fine. They're just over here. Let's grab one of those, please. Since they can break the cheese rock. Just have to get over there. The double jump on the... The bros... Is very useful. You have to just... Know that it's kind of a jump that you can do in... Any kind of... State. So you don't have to be on the ground to do the double jump. You have to... You can just be... Because you bounce everywhere, and you have to also know that you can jump while in midair for a short... I think it's a short amount of time. But anyway, under those cheese rocks is this golden turnip that we need to make all the way back to the town with. Which is easier said than done, especially because I believe these frying pan bros can actually break it. So I have to be very careful. It's very nice of him to make that... Uh, Break those cheese rocks for me. But anyway, let's just toss that in there. Yeah, I thought it was going to be there. And we get Golden Turnip Recipe 3. So we missed one, but that's okay because we can get it now. If I just grab a Potaboo slash Fireball, Lava Ball thing. And if we use this cannon here, and then just hop out. We can grab a moon here, atop the jutting uh, crag, and also here's the other turnip, so we need to just get that back the, pretty much the same way as we got the last one, which makes it fairly simple. You can also try and make it up this ledge by throwing the turnip up and then getting up with just Mario and then picking it up again. But anyway... That's that there, and this one should be in the middle of the other two. Since it's the second one. Yep. And there we go. Very nice. I think I'm actually going to do what I just did again, because I think there's more on that one platform that I haven't done yet, so I'm going to go do that. There's also more stuff behind that platform that I need to, need to do, but still. Uh, let's go... I think I actually needed a thing, didn't I? Yes, I did. Grab those purple coins, though. Need another hammer bro, frying pan bro thing. Hang on, I can check this in the lists. The capture list, um, somewhere, probably at the back-ish. It's just a hammer bro, okay, cool. Yeah, but they're throwing fi frying pans. I don't know, anyway. I'm still gonna call them hammer bros because that's what the, the, the thing says, the capture list. That just has every capture that we've captured before. So we know all of them. Anyway, let's go into the secret area here. Oh, and it's this one. This one's a fun one. We have to collect moon pieces. And also, we have to use this hammer bro here to break the cheese rock to find said pieces. But also, if we go up here, there's the secret moon. Climb the cheese rocks. Also, shaking to throw faster is useful, but not extremely useful sometimes because it throws further, and sometimes you don't want to throw further. You just want to throw fast. Oh, there it goes. That's fine. It will respawn. Just need to not die in the lava myself. I believe in this pit here. If I can get rid of this cheese rocks, please. There's one in that pit that we just got. I 
think there's a platform down there, but I collected it with the frying pan, which is useful. And there should be one more in the corner. It, it's so useful that the frying pans pick them up for you. Because you don't even need to know where they are sometimes, you just need to get them, basically. So let's grab that. Excavate and search the cheese rocks. Okay, so now, there's a few things we can do, um, but I think what I want to do is actually something very specific and grab one of these hammer bros and let's take him for a trip. A very long trip. Oh, I need to break the cheese rocks so I don't get stuck underneath them. So let's go, just all this way. Take him all the way back through town, which I guess this makes the, um, the rabbit fairly easy to hit. Just there. But we're going to take this hammer row all the way back to the very beginning. All the way back. Because there's some cheese rocks over here. And if we break them... There's a glowing spot. With a power moon. It's very... Kind of very out of the way. Not completely out of the way, but it's more out of the way than most things. Okay. Now let's, now let's explore the back part of the level that we haven't actually gone to yet. Not properly, at least. Just need to grab a potaboo. Let's get into this cannon. Launch. So, over back here, there's some purple coins straight away. And a cannon taking us back if we need to. 91. That just means there's nine more purple coins left. There's also this taking notes over here that we can get. Hopefully if I don't miss any. Don't need to go extremely fast. Just need to go fast enough. There we go. So let's grab this moon. And let's check out this island because there's these capsicums being thrown at us. Ow. But there's also a few places for us to ground pound, which don't do anything. But if we do it enough in all of these places, I think this guy is actually probably supposed to tell you what you're supposed to do here. I'm here to fix all the spots that crack open, but just my luck. I can't walk in there without getting knocked on uh, my melon. Wish someone could get the job done though. Okay, well I'll do that then. Since I was already doing it anyway. I think there should be another one somewhere back here. Right over here. And we get a power moon for it. Let's go ahead and grab that then. All the cracks are fixed. Still throwing obstacles at us though. So let's go down this pixel pipe. And now we're in the floor, which is cool. Just need to dodge everything and take out these enemies. I don't know how that didn't hurt me just now, but that's fine. There's some purple coins here that we can get. Now we just need to dodge the fireballs. I love the pixel sections. Also, the capskins are still trying to kill us, but they can't because we're in the floor. Okay, let's go. Just, just take it slow, just take it slow, and pixel moon. Beneath the rolling vegetables, there's no second power moon in there either, which is interesting. So anyway, before we move on, I actually want to go down here now and go into this painting. The Mushroom Ke Kingdom. Peach's Castle. It's very cool. But we can't go there, so we're going to have to just stay here for a bit. I believe this is actually Yoshi's place. Uh, hello. Sorry I'm not at home, but I have gone to Peach's Castle. 
Yoshi. Yep. But if we climb up one of these trees, and then go over this way, there's a power moon for us. Which is a star from Mario 64. And it has the same theme that plays. But apparently power moons come in other shapes, I had no idea. Yeah, it's definitely not a moon, it's a star. But it's it the the game says you got a moon, so it must be a moon. Okay, well I think that's everything over here right now, so let's move on. And over here seems like a good spot to start, I think. On this little platform. And we have a secret area where we can't take Cappy into. So let's see how this goes. Oh, it's this one. This one's going to be f interesting. This went well last time I played it. Definitely didn't fall off several times. But anyway, we need to get this taking notes moon. Let's do a whole bunch of that. And then if I can... Oh, please. Grab onto that. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. This is bad. This is just terrible. And I'm falling off. Falling off. Ah. Probably should have just waited for the thing to go away. But if you can hold onto the ledge and not do what I did, you can actually just hold onto the edge and have it push you into the the rest of the notes which is what you're supposed to do okay don't press up because that's what happened last time actually because you just you hold up to grab onto it but then you while you're ho still holding up it will take you onto the platform anyway spinning athlet athlet ah take notes spinning athletics we also need to get these purple coins here I'm just going to wait for them to reappear before going for them. Oh my goodness, I was really close. But we are fine. So fine. I can't believe I made that jump. And there we go. Okay. So I think that's everything at this back area, which is surprising. We're still missing three purple coins. We're going to have to find them somewhere. Um, I don't think I can get through here to where I'm trying to go. So, let's go... Uh, probably over here. So, where am I missing three purple coins? That is my question. Also, am I... Crazy? No, I'm not. Okay. Just need to do a few things, so let's get this timer challenge with these platforms, which I believe sink in the lava when you stand on them. You also need to triple jump to get that, or possibly ground pound jump to get that since it's so high. Oh, they just tilt. Okay. Timer challenge three. Already did the other two, I'm pretty sure. Now... Is that purple coins over there? No, it's just a block. Um, I think I actually need to go up from here, so let's do that. Just as a very good shortcut. And grab one of these podaboos, and then... Instead of going up, let's just jump straight off the edge, and hopefully not land on the ground. I landed on the ground, okay then. Try that again. I didn't make it all the way. Okay, I'm just gonna actually look down where I'm jumping from now this time. Land in the stuff down here. And let's go over to this island over here. And say hello to Captain Toad. How'd I get out here? Phew, it's so hot here. I can't remember. But wow, sizzle time, right? I did find this power moon, though. Take it, all yours. Bon appetit, Captain Toad. Well, anyway. Let's move on, then. Um, I don't know where the last three purple coins are, which is concerning. I can't think of anywhere where, where I've missed any. Currently. 
I will, I will figure them out at some point, but not right now. Right now, let's go this way. And probably head up here. Just a little bit, because we need to go up this way if I can. Oh, I don't know how I can stand on that little platform there, but that's fine. Because right over here is a little glowing spot right off the edge. <gasps> why I... Hmm. Motion controls, why? I didn't even shake the controller, I'm pretty sure. Must have just thought... Ah. Uh. Anyway, let's try that again. Actually, we might be able to get to there from here. Yeah, we can. As long as we don't slide off straight into the lava. Wow, that's just so slippery. Cool. I can't even... I can't even. Cool. Great. I love... Mario physics. At least when I can actually control them and they don't do really silly things. Anyway, this is actually a good spot to jump from, so let's take advantage of this flag, and let's ground pound here for a power moon. Surrounded by tall mountains. Where am I missing purple coins? They might be at the plaza. So I should probably head to the plaza somewhere. Pretty sure. I'm almost certain. Um, just thinking. Like, are they over here? Yes. I don't know how I figured that out, but that's fine because it's done now. So let's just go shopping. Buy the power moon from the shop here. Let's buy out everything in the purple coin shop. Change now. Change now. Get this painter outfit as well, but we don't want to change it into it. I love the low poly, colorful art style of this level. It's so nice. And it works really well with the food. But there we go, that's all the souvenirs and stickers and outfits from the Purple Coin Shop. And now we're Chef Mario. Okay, so let's go over here and talk to this guy. This is a place where chefs come dressed to cook. And hey, hey, you've got the clothes and the hat. Come right on in. A chef's got a dress to impress. Nothing worse than a so simmer. Well, what he's saying by that is actually we need to jump into this pot as a potaboo to increase the heat. And it gives us a power moon. This is something will be, which will be important to know. But right now it doesn't do much other than this, so. Let's get through this level and we need to take a potaboo all the way to the end if possible. Which is not exactly the easiest thing, but these tomato things have really forgiving hitboxes, so let's just go up here into this pot and do the same thing as we did at the start. And we get a another power moon. An extreme simmer. Okay, so I think we've almost got everything in this level already, which is good. Just need a few more things, so let's head up to the top whatever it is, plat flag. And let's head up to the pot if we can, because there's stuff up there for us to do. Just gonna jump into this cannon. Let's go. We have to take notes up here. Which I'm pretty sure I did well enough last time I did this particular moon. So I'm gonna hopefully get it all now in one go. It's the, This one's a very difficult one because there's a lot of stuff in the way to slow you down, and also knock you around. Oh, almost. 
Oh my goodness. Amazing. I don't even know. So let's go ahead and grab that then. Big pot swim. And I think that's everything in this level right now. So let's head back to the start and... No, actually. Let's go to the talker too. Because that's how you check. I don't know what I was thinking of. Where's the talker to? Right over there. I love the stuff you can kick around. A top, a column in a row. Oh, I know what that is. That's right here. And caught hopping at the volcano. Did I not get the... Did I not get the... The, the bunny? The rabbit? Hang on. Can we check this? I thought I got this already. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm thinking of my previous playthrough that I did recently. Oh, get over here. Get over here. There we go. No, I didn't. That's surprising. I thought I already got that. Which is why I didn't get it when I was going past with the thing earlier. But anyway, the other two moons that he talked about were the columns and also the hint art, which we've already... Well, we can't really do anything about, so... But anyway, if we go across here... On this last column is a glowing point and a power moon. So let's see, is that all the moons available to us at the moment? Yep, that's it. Cool. So let's head on back to a previous level, I guess, and get some other th other things cleaned up while we've still got time. I Because I'm pretty sure the only other kingdom that I haven't actually cleaned up completely is probably the Wooded Kingdom, which is right here. And also the rest of the... What's it called? The hint art that I have, because I have two now that I haven't done. But that's okay, I'll get them. So starting off, let's go... I think I can jump down here, right? Yeah. Because I think I haven't done... This... Moon off the edge here. Oh, hello Fibro. Just gonna grab you real quick. Let's get this walnut. Climb the cliff to get the nut. I think there's something else around here that I'm supposed to have gotten, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. Uh, we can jump down here now and take this guy for a little trip, because I think we need to. Possibly. Unless that's something else that I'm thinking of. It might just be something else. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's actually head over to the Odyssey area. So we can go from there, since I know a few things I can do from this area. So let's jump up here. Instead of jumping off the edge, let's go up this entire thing here. It looks like I already... No, I didn't. No mind. Okay, cool. Thought it looked like this er, these, those coins were collected, but nope. Let's keep going up a little bit more, and right at the top of here is nothing. Okay, cool. But we can actually stay up here a little bit more, because there's some purple coins for us to get, and some other things as well. So let's grab one of these... I don't know what... The stretchers? I don't know. <laughs> Please tell me they're called stretchers. get those purple coins, but also there's a little platform up here, and we can take it up and up for this walnut and this power moon atop the toll tree. Now, I don't know if there's much else over here, but we can take this stretch a little bit further before saying goodbye. So let's go up the stream here. There's a fire bro that we need to avoid, but if we can avoid him well enough and get past him a little bit, if we stretch here, it here ish, we can actually get up here, and there's a walnut with a power moon for us. Tucked away inside the tunnel. And then also, if we take this fiber up here, we can light this fire there for a, a um a heart. Now it does seem like it wants us to take this fibro, but we don't. I'm pretty sure. 
Am I crazy? Because this is what I was doing before and it didn't have anything for us. I don't think it has... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave you. Okay, let's head up to the top then and see if I've done this already because I don't remember what I've done already because I left without everything and I usually get everything because it makes things easier. That's not true. I usually don't get everything. I just get rid of what I remember. Now, did I get this? No, I didn't. So, let's... Now that we're back in the secret flower field, let's get all these flowers bloomed. Which restores the garden. And gives us a power moon. Make the secret flower field, field bloom. Okay. Well, while we're here, there's some other stuff we can do as well, so... Let's take a look at that. I think what we want to do is actually take this P-switch to where we want to go. Make some of the platforms appear. Let's go up to the top. Let's grab this flag, because that's going to be a very useful spot to teleport to and from. Anyway, we have this glider here, and I think... Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, let's take him over to this platform that's way down here. Hello, Captain Toad. I'm not sure how long... how I got here, but it's great. Such a nice view and fresh air. Oh, and I found a power moon. Would you like it? Hey, out there, Captain Toad. Looks nice over there, too. There's also a Pixel Cat Mario back here. There's actually some stuff over there that we haven't done yet, I'm pretty sure. Let's go back down this pipe, though. We can get to that in a second. Especially because we can just jump down to a lot of this stuff. You're supposed to go up this with the speed flowers, but we can just jump down here, so... Let's do that. I'm gonna take a few shortcuts, probably. Got the secret area here with tanks. So we could have had tanks. Well, we've, we've used tanks before. But anyway, if we turn around, there's a secret moon there. There's a lot of stuff I haven't done in this level, I just realized. Like, I, I didn't... I barely touched the surface of all the power moons this level, apparently. But anyway, P-switch, which, which will make us go down. And we have to just get through this area with the tank best as possible. Don't think I'm missing anything, hopefully. We have to take out the enemies so they don't mess us up. Oh, please. So grab these purple coins. Oh, it didn't get you? Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Let's keep going. And this bit is going to be interesting because you have some tanks to take out. It's like the we play tanks minigame, which everyone loves. Kind of? Some people might not like it. It's a, it's a good one, though. Now, is that everything? I think that's everything. So let's just go through here. I don't even think I need this tank anymore. No, I do, because I need to break that open. There we go. Elevator escalation. So we've got a little bit more moons now. I think I'm actually going to have to come back to this again at some other point in time. So for now, let's head back to uh, the Luncheon Kingdom. If I can get there. I believe this is a good spot to go from to there. Mostly. I'm also just going to be skipping these teleport, portal, Mario f falling through the thing, because it's just the same thing every single time. And it just does it forever. It don't don't, doesn't even stop after you get get through them all. Or have gone through them once. But anyway. That is it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.